And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today we're going to be preparing for a quest. Podswarm. Uh, Podswarm means we are going to end up with a whole bunch of angry bugs showing up at our base. Now, infestations normally appear in here. So I think we're going to prepare to deal with this as quickly and efficiently as possible. So we're maybe going to handle this a little bit faster. Normally you don't have this many pawns and it kind of opens up new opportunities for, well, destruction. All right, I think we are good to go. Uh, we have three bug squashing squads all ready to go up here. I figure if we have three squads killing them quickly, we should be able to get rid of the bugs much faster. Otherwise it takes half a day to go through them all. This just should allow us to, well, I've never tried this before, but maybe tripling down on the amount of firepower will allow us to wipe out the bugs faster, assuming they all end up in here. Now we have to accept the quest for, oh damn it, who do we want to give this to? Oh, there we are. Zach Loveless, 19. Uh, they have 15 honor, and if we get them this, it should put them into night territory, which is exactly what we want. So, yeah, I don't think they ever imagined the game getting this long-winded when you came to accepting quest. Okay, where's the infestation? Like, does it take time? There we go. Oh, yep, yep. Exactly where we thought it was going to happen to. Well, okay, the last two infestations did spawn here, so predictability, I suppose. All right, we've got all the rest of the animals zoned out. I should probably make sure the rest of our colonists don't go in there. Let's uh, check the screen. Yeah, they're pretty safe. I'll keep an eye on them there, but this should be a fairly straightforward slaughter fest. You, start grenading now. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? No, actually, don't answer that question. You're going to destroy a tree. We'll live. I could have went with double grenades, but you know what? It'd be nice to keep some of the meat around. Oh, what? What? No, you're not allowed to spawn inside our walls. That's not fair. We did not agree to this. This was not part of the bargain. Um, right, I'm going to go get more people. We have people coming in. One squad is going to end up over here. Another squad is going to end up over here. Uh, this is going to be awkward. We've also had to pull all the animals back. I have recently learned, just now, that there's a limit to the amount of zones you can have, and it's this many. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can have ten zones. You cannot make any more than ten zones without mods, it seems. Uh, so... Yeah, we're gonna have a whole bunch of you. Yeah, there's a bunch of chickens about to die. You guys shoot that. You guys... Yeah, I'm gonna need you to shoot uh, that one. Uh, you guys... Ooh, who do you want to shoot? Hmm. You know what? We'll let you guys just shoot like crazy. You, you can go shooting whatever you like. That's fine. Yeah... Awkward, awkward, awkward. Uh, we're going to lose a bunch of animals. Yep, death of a hen, death of a hen, death of a hen. Death of a rooster? Oh, we've only got a few of those. Death of a hen, death of a hen, death of a hen. Distant components. Yep, that's that's nice. Okay. Um, well, this is a little bit of a mess. 81 mega scarabs. Only 95 mega spiders. That's, that's probably fine. Probably. <laughs> Okay, 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 keep fighting. You guys, hey, I'm gonna need you to target that guy right there. I need him dead. Uh, where's the rest of our team? K-Dad, oh, K-Dad, Jesus Christ, run, run. Uh, yeah, stand in the doorway. We're gonna get some reinforcements for you there in a second. Everyone here? Yeah, get in behind them. That's, that's perfect. Oh God, this is a mess. Okay, another one bites the dust. That's perfect. You guys... Oh my god, how did this happen? I really did not think they'd spawn inside the walls. I mean, their spawn area is over here and there's a wall... Oh, I left the doors open. I left the doors open at the start of the spawning. So this was considered one contiguous area that they could spawn through. If I had left the doors closed and then opened them afterwards, I bet this would not have happened. Oh, and here comes our sacrificial chickens. Oh my god. Yeah, we're going to lose a bunch of chickens to this. But you know what? It's fine. Yeah, that's good. And our grenades are making an absolutely wonderful mess. How did that guy get past everything? Oh my god, a hive actually spawned where someone was standing. That's, um... Kill that hive if you wouldn't mind. Oh dear lord, Gregorts. Uh, run back here, buddy. Run back here. Oh, K-Dad. This is not... This is not good, K-Dad. 
Yep, we lost some more chickens. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's good, that's good, that's good. All right, all right. That's... We've kind of got it semi-handled. Yeah, I like rocks is down. It turns out I like rocks is not like bugs. You guys. Oh, please tell me you're targeting... No, not I like rocks. I want you to target the stellipede. Like, that annoys me. I can't tell if I'm going to target I like rocks or the stellipede with that. That's, um... Cannot finish off. Yeah, of course you can't finish them off. Target the stellipede, you muppets. What if we do that? W would you do it then? Uh, you guys, uh, target... Mm. Yeah, we want you to target that bug right there. Like, one of them better target that. I mean, it's literally right behind you. Just turn around and shoot it. It's the closest thing. It's just, ah, I know I'm going to kill I like rocks if I can't do that. Okay, that is down. Oh, generating new map for encounter, please. Lump of compacted machinery. Really? Yep, this is uh, super important. We'll uh, just go over here and grab these components. Where were we? Oh, yes. The unstoppable horde of bugs who were trying to break down our walls. And kill all of our chickens. How many of you are left alive? Okay, that's another one bites the dust. Okay, dead, dead, dead. Okay, how are we doing back down here? Oh, God. That's not a good sign. We need to... You. Uh, you know what? Oh, God. This is a horrible position to be in. It's just these ones down here are surrounded by close combat melee killing me. Oh, no. One of them's in amongst the chickens. Yeah. I think our best bet here is we assume these guys are going to take care of business. These, these sort of kill setups have worked for us before, so we assume they're going to work. We concentrate on getting this crowd to kill off that bug, move outside, and come down here and support this section. This section, you're going to take hits. Alex can't really do much for you. We can berserk one or two of these. We've already berserked one of them, but we'll say berserk you as well. That should hopefully give us a little bit of a meat shield. Okay. Yeah, excellent. I got the bug. You guys go outside. Uh, any of the ones attacking from the rear have been mostly shot. Yeah. You guys maybe take care of that one right there. That's most of the, the bugs at the rear taken care of. Oh, and those grenades are just doing a wonderful job of thinning numbers. All right, this squad. Going to need you to take care of business. That's more than dead. Perfect. You guys over here. Another hen dead. Puppy dead. Hens, puppies, everything. This is a... Yeah, this is a horrible mess. Okay, you come down here. Oh, more bugs. Okay, keep coming down and reinforce. Bodle is down. Kind of expected that. You two, get in on this. I am so glad I gave everyone guns. Well, except for Ortec, who's a caster. You can do a stun, I suppose, which might help out a little bit. Damn, okay, that's them all done. Uh, you guys get in there. Oh, wait, no. Chickens. The chickens have to be protected. Oh my god, they're pecking them. I don't think they'll get them, but they can try. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We'll leave that door open. How are we looking over here? We got a lot of dead bugs. Yeah, I think we needed a bigger hospital. Someone's tending to the chickens already. Uh, we should probably start rescuing people who are downed. We have a few people set up to grab the wounded and bring them back to the hospital. And I think there's like one bug left in here. Just the one. You die. Done. Okay. Oh my god, that was way more of a mess than it should have been. How are we looking over here? Oh my god, the triple grenades, it just adds a certain flavor to the slaughter. Well, I think I think that's enough grenades. You guys can actually start the rescue. You, rescue I like rocks. And you two. Actually, I'm going to take you two out of this and immediately get you guns again before you do something stupid like, I don't know, blow ourselves up. Go on, head back home. That could have went an awful lot worse. Could have went an awful lot better. Like, uh, seriously, those bugs spawning behind us was just the... Yeah, so many chickens. One, two, three, four, five, a puppy. Six, seven, eight, hens, a donkey full. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, compacted machinery. Thirteen, an alpaca. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So it's twenty. Yep, yep. Mm. Perfect, perfect. That was uh, very unpleasant. All right, time to clean up all of these hives. How much insect jelly are we looking at here? Because that's what we were after. Ooh, only 1,800. But I think once we kill all those hives, that's going to go up by a lot. 
When it rains, it randies. It's a raid. Okay, we lost a donkey, some more hens, an alpaca, some more hens. Uh, yep, we lost a lot of stuff in the meantime because animals are just injured and bleeding out before we can get to them. We're tending to, well, a lot of injured people in the hospital. Plus, uh, I've got these people all getting back their guns and dumping their grenades. And we've got a raid from a mech hive landing right here. Now, predictions wise, now judging by the amount of arrows, that's a lot, an awful lot. So I'm imagining no centipedes. So I gotta think this is, well, if I had to guess, I'm gonna guess scythers. That seems like a, a real scyther type group. Now, uh, I think what we do is we go back over here and we form a firing line and we get in everyone we've got available. This is going to be rough because I'm imagining we won't have time to set up a kill box. All of these places are jammed, op jammed open with animal corpses. The walls aren't repaired. There's no way we can make this place airtight again. We can't really control the situation. We just have to shoot them down. I have been all over the map and I have collected as many people together as we can. Run, run, run. Uh, I need you to move as quickly as possible. Come on, come on, come on. If that's Scythers, we're not going to have much time. If it's Lancers, we're in even more trouble. Oh, wow. They're killing the hives. Okay, that's good for us. Uh, excellent. You, jeez. Thank God they're free. If they were not uh, Scythers, we would have been in a lot of trouble. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, the reason I can't get these all to move is some people are not summoned. What I've done is I've left everyone who's got medical skill to actually just, well, t tend to everyone. I think we should have more than sufficient firepower to take care of this. It's what? 24 scythers. 24. Jacob, what you doing? Nope, nope. Get into a firing line. Uh, the Schweitzer is off to the side. They're tending to an alpaca. Uh, you know what? Oh yeah, that was also a suit falser going off. Why do you not have a gun? Oh, you're really new. Oh, that's... No, in that case, go grab one. I do like these weapons lockers. You can stick 10 guns in them and then you can drop them out on the ground when you need them. And it's just a handy way to make sure that when I want guns, they're all in one spot as opposed to you know, you're searching all the way throughout your stockpiles or even if you do have one stockpile of guns, it takes up so much space. These little weapon lockers that hold about 10 guns, you're good to go. I, I find it very convenient. Oh, you're, you're off to insult Pika Mula. That's a great time to do that, buddy. Uh, the Schweitzer, maybe rescue that alpaca. That should take you off the front lines. Okay, start shooting. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you are getting out of the way. You should probably go there. Uh, perfect. You guys get on the firing line. Jesus Christ. Come on. Get the ones that are right there. Okay, you three. This is going to take a little bit of micromanagement, but I think we'll be good. Uh, Taylor, please tell me you have a gun. You're, you literally don't have a weapon, do you? Yeah, also new. In my defense, this is why I just equip everyone the same. If everyone has a gun, everyone's an interchangeable cog in the killing machine. Okay, kill them, kill them, shoot the closest ones. Pods arrived. Okay. Oh. Quest completed. Where did they arrive to? Yeah, we'll worry about that in a minute. I should probably be more worried about the things with the giant blade arms that are trying to slice up our people. Uh, you are pulling back in there. Perfect. Uh, everyone else is showing up. The Schweitzer, you're set to... I've had to set everyone to attack stance. Oh, whoa, you. Uh, rescue that Labrador. The reason I've had to set everyone to attack stance is if I don't, it gets really awkward. Damn it. Guys, target the closest ones. I know there's a mod for that, but sometimes you just feel like they should be doing some of that automatically. Uh, you... Start targeting these. Okay, this is just going to be a little bit of micromanagement. I think we can fast forward this. On the bright side, we don't have to tend to as many animals anymore. Yeah, that kind of works. Uh, there is a few scythers left in here. They ran down a, uh, a squad of friendlies that were leaving the map. We've got a small team coming over here to dispatch them. There goes another hen. Yeah, no surprises there. We've lost so many hens at this point, it's ridiculous. And... Seriously, there's one right there, guys. Just, just come on. You let me down here. Done. Okay, one left. Can't miss. Can't miss and finished. Okay, are you still following Pika? Right, Pika, can can you arrest them? Yeah, just go do that. Yeah, there we go. We'll let we'll let them back to uh, not. Oh, guys, don't. There's, there's tables inside. 
What is wrong with you? Just, just go hold that inside and have a meal when you get back. We're going to have to repair this place up, dispose of all the corpses, uh, get rid of all the insect jelly. How much insect jelly we got? 4,430 insect jelly. That's a lot of money. That's so much money. That's going to buy us an awful lot of chickens and cows. Which reminds me, we also have an awful lot of chicken corpses. How many chicken corpses have we got? 34 chicken corpses. Well, looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Oh my god. Hasn't even been one day. We haven't even been playing for one day, and already it's been it's been an interesting half day. Uh, hold on while I take care of some minor uh, problems. Well, we do have a new, few new recruits we have to name, and we've got 13 animals sick with the flu. They'll probably survive, though I might want to give medicine to the ones, the two with names. They're most likely bonded with someone, and if they died, they'd be very unhappy. Our bulk goods traders that we requested have shown up. One of them has brought along Labradors. So how many Labrador Retrievers did they bring? Well, okay, not 25. Some of those are ours, but it looks like they brought about four Labradors. I think we'll actually buy them just to help bulk up our numbers of carriers. Over here, I believe this crowd bought uh, goats or something. You know what? Who cares? We don't want the goats. We're going well on the cow front. Uh, at the same time, we have a interesting one down here. Marriage is on, but it's not our people. It's the two prisoners, Nadine and Kennedy. They they want to get married. One of them has a wake-up addiction. The other one's just fine. They're just a quick-sleeping brawler tough. The other one's an undergrounder and slothful. Um, I'm not recruiting this one until we recruit this one. I want to recruit both of them at the same time. Otherwise, actually, we'll just put you to reduce distance. Otherwise, they'll be annoyed that they're not sleeping in the same bed as each other. Plus, this one's going to need to be left in very, very happy mode to recover from that wake-up addiction. Yeah, this is interesting. Hopefully their wedding happens after we've hired them so that everyone in the colony can get the big mood boost from it. For the time being, we're tidying up this remaining mess and we're trying to get as many of these mega spider corpses into the fridge as possible. That's chem fuel right there. That's lots and lots of chem fuel. Do we need the chem fuel? No. Do I want the chem fuel? Yes. I should probably point out, every one of these bulk goods traders is basically being sold a whole butt ton of clothes. We have so much clothing we're producing just from all the animals we're killing that we just sell it on them. Also, whenever we capture someone, they usually have some clothing on them that we end up selling and we clothe them up in our clothes. It's just, yep, the wonderful circle of clothing. Uh, at the same time, I think, yep, most of our people are medic to up. Uh, herbal medicine wise, I am going to plant a giant field of the stuff right here. I don't think we have much of a choice anymore. We need more herbal medicine. We just go through it too quickly, especially when I'm so sloppy about things. Time for a quick too deep infestation over here. This should be fairly straightforward. We're going to have all the animals run away. I'm sure, oh, Joey, down here. Jesus. Well, we should have about 26 people showing up for this. I don't think the bugs are going to be much of a problem with that much firepower to bring to bear. I mean, is that 31 humans? How do I have 31? I thought I needed some 26. Never mind. There we go. We'll have them run forward and maybe get a little bit closer. We don't want them killing everything we've got. And what was that? Masterwork? Marble sculpture. We'll worry about that in a minute. Yep, here we go. The bugs have shown up. And five, four, three, two. They all start getting riddled. There is just something to be said about having a crew this stupidly large. I mean, that's not even our entire team. That's just a section of them. The rest of them were off doing their own things around the base. It's... oh, wow. Um, we need more chem fuel. Yeah, would someone please butcher up those creatures? We're gonna need, like, a lot of chem fuel? Jesus. How, how many simple meals is that? So, someone put those in storage before this gets even more out of hand. Oh, that's one thing I never went over. Where are the cows? Oh, I moved all the animals. Before we can get into the mechanics of cows, there's just one more thing we have to do with. It's a raid, mech hive. Now, I wonder where they're dropping. Now, uh, it wouldn't happen to be our chickens again, would it? No, no, it'd never be our chickens again. Randy would never go for our chickens all the damn time. It's like always the chickens, Randy. What is it with you and chickens? You just love our chickens so... Hmm, that's actually less pods than I was expecting. That's for well... 14 drop pods, this, uh, yeah, this might be a problem. We're going to get a little bit closer. We may need to immediately start a, what, no, no, just go that way. Take the, uh, the path where you don't have to walk in front of all the nasty pods. Come on, we're going to lose a bunch of animals again, but that is to be expected. Yep. Centipedes. Well, that's not 
good. Now, does anyone bring an Insanity Lance shield pack? You know, the usual. Well, the plan here is pretty simple. Uh, Zari here is going to try and Insanity Lance that one. Uh, Akio is going to try and melee that one. Uh, oh, they don't even have a gun yet. Yeah, so one of them's Insanity. Oh, you better melee that one. We don't want that one shooting because it's got a incendiary cannon. That would be bad. Uh, you can melee... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wait, you have an insanity lens. Uh, tell you what, why don't you insanity that one right there? Yeah, that's good. That's good. And hopefully we've got some shield belts coming in. Dear lord, Randy, why? There's like nine centipedes in the middle of my chickens. Again, it's just, what have you got against my chickens? How many more chickens do I have to lose before you give up on the chickens? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We we've summoned in a lot of people. We're, yeah, we're taking casualties. There's two lancers there, that's... This is not good. Uh, Sonico, do you have anything we can use? You have a blinding pulse. Ooh, no, that's going to hit our own people as well. You know what? Maybe a quick stun on you would be nice. Uh, who, what else have we got going on? Nothing too major. I think we've got a shield belt. Someone's going to have a shield belt. We've captured so many of them. Okay, that guy's shooting in that direction. They're about to get melee down, though, so that's fine. Okay, done. Chicken's over there getting shot. Uh, incendiary round getting fired at our chicken. Yeah, that's pretty much to be expected. Fine. Everyone else, get in close. Uh, you actually... You know what? Melee. We're going to need more melee going just everywhere. Uh, you melee that one. In fact, we're just going to have people melee everything, and we're going to then bring in so much additional firepower on top of that that the rest of the people can just shoot them down. Yep, yeah, that's... Okay, that's good. What happened? Yeah, death of a hen. Really? Not surprised. You, get in close. And, yep. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Zack. Kill that one. Why is no one attacking that, uh, you know, Benton? Get in there and hit that one. Oh, well, there goes Richard Clean Hall, 81. Well, that's another death. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, uh, you get in there and melee that one, Dan. We need to keep... Okay, death of a donkey, death of a donkey. Yeah, this is a huge mess, but there's nothing really much we can do about it. It's just the right in the center of our base, and we don't have a lot of options. You all get in closer. Just get in there. Get in on top of them best you can. That will cut down on friendly fire instance and less of firing through people and you'll be more likely to be up close to do melee attacks. That's fine. So long as we can just keep them from shooting. Done. 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 And okay, that that worked really well. Swamp them. Oh, well, Sorceress is going down. Okay, we've put out those fires. What we need to do is cause a distraction. Uh, I'm guessing the simplest thing to do would be send someone out with an insanity lance. Say, Adam over here. Adam, gonna need you to go out there, buddy. Perfect. And then I'm gonna want you to... Actually, you're gonna need to get out a little bit further. That's fine. Now, what I want you to do is hit the, uh, the Inferno Cannon one. That would be good. Done. Insanity lance on that one. And insanity lance on that one. Perfect. That should buy us a little bit of time. Yeah, with that done, they should hopefully start shooting each other. God, that's too many people. Right, so they start attacking each other. Come on, attack each other, attack each other. Nice. Now I want everyone else. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yep, that looks like an interesting attack formation. Attack formation, Alpha, Delta, Swamp them. <laughs> you landed in the wrong house. Oh, you guys, yeah, get in there. Any questions? Fucking hell. Okay, you know what? Uh, we'll have to do a quick change here in the Managed Colony section. Put everyone on flee. That means anyone who's not currently drafted will try and flee. I think we got him. Jesus. <laughs> that 
was a lot of firepower. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, Bodle, how you doing, buddy? Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. I should be worrying about the people who were injured. And, yeah, how did you die, Richard? Let's check your logs. Wow. Yeah, 23 ransom blinds, heavy SMG bullet, missed the Senate feed, perforating eight Richard Bl Blanco's brain and wounding his skull and head. Third time someone's been shot in the back of the face by one of their own people. All three deaths have been people being shot in the brain pan by a missed heavy SMG bullet. That, um, yeah, that's just the kind of colony we run around here. You know what? I I'm going to, like, just explain how the cow's situation works and just leave it at that for today. <laughs> but that was... That's an interesting new strategy. If centipedes just come in, swamp them. And this isn't even our whole crew. This is only like 60 of the 80 strong crew we have. We have, I never really thought of it that way. When you have this many pawns, even if they're all mediocre, you can literally swamp them. There'll be someone in close range combat with them, which means they can't use their weapons. They'll have to just, you know, bash heads. Now, their, their melee combat is actually pretty deadly. It's, it's not as bad as their guns though. So once we've swamped them, all the people behind them can just open fire on them and they're constantly getting attacked from all directions and stunned and shot from all directions and killed. That's, that works. It works so well. How many, how many chickens do we do? There's a chicken. Oh, birthday. Um, Sissy Duran, 51. Uh, Again, the following diseases due to aging. Bad back. You know what? That's not even that bad. You know, death of an alpaca. Oh, we lost our other rooster. Okay, so we've no more roosters anymore. Uh, I'll have to make sure I don't cull any of the eggs we're going to get. Uh, how many, there were eight chicken eggs. What the? Oh, I think a whole bunch of chickens hatched recently. Please tell me some of them are still alive. Uh, there's another chicken. Chicken. Oh, combat supplier. We'll have to go take care of them. Uh, hen, donkey, hen, death. Ah, bloody hell. Okay, cows. Let's just explain this because people are curious about the cows and why we're feeding them simple meals. And this is to do with cows are a little bit unique. Cows, bulls, they all eat the same amount of food. And you'll notice here, on their, this is their nutrition section, you'll see the 0 0.8 of 2. That means they have the capacity to hold two nutrition inside them. And if you look at, say, one of your normal pawns and go to their needs and look at their food needs, they have 0 0.54 of 1, as in the maximum amount of nutrition they can hold is 1. And by nutrition, I'm going to say, look at one of these meals here. A simple meal has a nutritional value of 0.9. So the reason I'm just going through all these numbers, it means is when a cow gets hungry, it can eat a simple meal, and that entire simple meal will be absorbed by the cow because it has so much space for it. It waits until it gets to about 1.3 hunger before it eats, and then we will sit, satisfy 0.9 of that hunger with that simple meal, meaning there's no wastage. However, if you look at something with, say, well, let's look at a chicken here. That's probably a good example. It has 0 of 1.8. Um, yeah, 0 0.18 means if you fed this a simple meal of 0.9 nutrition, you would be wasting almost the entire simple meal. In fact, even if you feed them on grass out here, grass and all that has more nutrition than the, the chicken can possibly absorb, which is why we normally feed it hay grass. Hay grass has 0.5 nutrition, meaning you can eat a couple of hay grass, it'll be fine. But if we feed it on the stuff that's out here, they quickly strip mine the whole area really quickly and they're not getting the full nutrition. A whole bunch of it is wasted because they're overeating. Even dogs, uh, they have, where is it? Let me grab a dog. This is a Labrador. Labrador has a, a maximum nutrition of 0 0.75. That's the maximum stomach size, let's say. So if we ever fed it any simple meal, it would, there'd be a whole bunch of wastage. Cows don't waste the food, which means they have a really strong advantage. This game has an interesting mechanic when it comes to food. When you cook raw food, it gains nutritional value, as in it becomes, it'll, it's more filling. So for example, if we grab oh, 10 corn and we cook it up into a simple meal, that simple meal is worth 0.9 nutrition. However, the 10 corn that made up its ingredients, that's actually only worth 0.5. So it takes 10 corn to make the meal, 10 by 0 0.5, it's 0 0.5. So you go from having 0.5 nutrition to 0.9 by cooking it up. Now, you could take, say, hay grass. Hay grass, yes, it's a very efficient crop to grow, but it's not nearly as efficient as taking corn and cooking it up. So hay grass is a slightly more efficient, I think it's like 10% more efficient to grow than corn or potatoes or anything like that. Maybe 15, I'm not sure. Could be even 20%. Makes no difference. If we can take five corn and turn it, or sorry, we can take 10 corn and effectively turn that 10 corn into 18 corn by cooking it, there's no way hay grass can compete with that. There is, of course, kibble. Kibble, you can basically, oh, it increases the nutritional value by about 25%. Uh, you know, it takes it up to 125%, but you need meat for that. And we've got plenty of insects, but eventually you will run out or you'll have dry spells. It, it's not 100% dependable. So what I want is a perfectly dependable source of food. So what happens when we feed the cows the simple meals is it's literally a sort of a one-to-one -one exchange. If we have, say, 
enough crops to feed 400 pawns. We can take half of that crop value, feed it to the cows as simple meals, and they will produce enough milk that we can take the remaining half of the crops, combine it with that milk, and produce enough fine meals to support 400 pawns. It's effectively a one-to-one -one translation of crops into milk. You can take corn, cook it up, and then you get the same amount of milk back as corn you put in, and then you can cook it up into fine meals. This just gives us a plus 5% morale, morale boost for everyone for getting fine meals. It's... Mm, Considering the uh, the bedroom situation, our living quarter situations, and everything we're trying to go for, that plus five mood bonus is kind of worth it, or almost necessary for us to survive, because we don't have a lot of mood bonuses going for us. Oh, well, that's a bad example. Their, their husband just died recently. Let me grab someone else. Oh, tortured artist. Come on! Yeah, well, there, there's not a lot of happy people around at the moment. We did lose a pawn recently. Darkness, slept in cold, observed corpses. Yeah, there's there's going to be some unhappiness. And that's the problem. If that plus five mood boost could be the, the difference between the colony surviving and having a catastrophic meltdown. So that's why we're running an awful lot of cows. Now, I'm going to cut this out here. I am going to spend the rest of the time just sorting out the final mess here, uh, burying our lost colonist. Apologies again to Richard Benko. Y you lasted uh, like one and a half episodes. Sorry, it's just the way the getting shot in the back of the head works in this colony. I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck. Thank you.